Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody, to another chapter of A Court of Mist and Fury. Written by Sarah J. Moss and read by, you guessed it, yours truly, Freewata, with the explanation point for the added emphasis. We are back here today after the last chapter. Kind of how we do with every chapter. I'm a little sassy mood this morning, sorry. <laughs> But we got to the Illyrian war camp and we met Devlin. Uh, let's hope I remember his voice. Too bad there's not really a way. I, I have to kind of like listen to it on the previous video and then try to hear my voice and try to recreate that voice. It's actually a lot harder than it seems, especially because I've only done it once. So we'll see um, if his voice changes at all. You know what? That's canon. His voice just changes. So let's get back into it with Chapter 46. I was so cold. I might never be warm again. Even during winter in the mortal realm, I'd managed to find some kernel of heat. But after nearly emptying my cache of magic that afternoon, even the roaring hearth fire couldn't thaw the chill around my bones. Did spring ever come to this blasted place? They picked these locations. Cassian sat across from me as we dined on mutton stew around the table, tucked into the corner of the front of the stone house, just to ensure the strongest among us survive. Horrible people, Mort grumbled into her earthenware bowl. I don't blame Az for never wanting to come here. I take it training the girls went well, Rise drawled from beside me, his thighs so close its warmth brushed my own. Cassian drained his mug of ale. I got one of them to confess they hadn't received a lesson in ten days. They'd all been too busy with chores, apparently. No born fighters in this lot? Three, actually, Moore said. Three out of ten isn't bad at all. The others? I'd be happy if they just learned to defend themselves. But those three, they've got instinct. The claws. It's their stupid families that want them clipped and breeding. I rose from the table, taking my bowl to the sink tucked into the wall. The house was simple, but still bigger and in better condition than our old cottage. The front room served as kitchen, living area, dining room, with three doors in the back, one for the cramped bathing room, one for the storage room, one being a back door. Because no true Lyrian, according to Rise, ever made a home with only one exit. When do you head for the Hewn City tomorrow? Cassian said to her, quietly enough that I knew it was probably time to head upstairs. Moore scraped the bottom of her bowl. Apparently, Cassian had made the stew. It hadn't been half bad. After breakfast, before, I don't know, maybe in the afternoon when they're all just waking up. Rise was a step behind me, bowl in hand, and motioned to leave my dirty dish in the sink. He inclined his head toward the steep, narrow stairs at the back of the house. They were wide enough to fit only one Illyrian warrior, another safety measure, and I glanced at the table one last time before disappearing upstairs. Moore and Cassian both stared at their empty bowls of food, softly talking for once. Every step upward, I could feel rise at my back, the heat of him, the ebb and flow of his power. And in this small space, the scent of him washed over me, beckoned to me. Upstairs was dark, illuminated by the small window at the end of the hall, and the moonlight streaming in through a thin gap in the pines around us. There were only to two doors up here, and Rise pointed to one of them. You and Moore can share tonight. Just tell her to shut up if she babbles too much. I wouldn't, though. She needed to talk. To distract herself and be ready for what is to come tomorrow, I'd listen until dawn. He put a hand on his own doorknob, but I leaned against the wood of my door. It'd be so easy to take the three steps to cross the hall. To run my hands over that chest, trace those beautiful lips with my own. I swallowed as he turned to me. I didn't want to think what it meant, what I was doing. This was, whatever it was, between us. 
because things between us had never been normal. Not from the very first moment we had met on Colin Mai. I had been unable to easily walk away from him then, when I thought he was deadly, dangerous. But now... Traitor. 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 He opened his mouth, but I had already slipped inside my room and shut the door. Freezing rain trickled through the pine boughs as I stalked through the mists in my Illyrian fighting leathers, armed with a bow, quiver, knives, shivering like a wet dog. Rise was a few hundred feet behind, carrying our packs. We'd flown deep into the forest steps, far enough that we'd have to spend the night out here. Far enough that no one, and nothing, might see another glorious explosion of flame and temper, as Rise had put it. Azrulen brought word from my sisters of the Queen's status, so we had time to spare. Though Rise certainly hadn't looked like it when he informed me that morning. But at least we wouldn't have to camp out here. Rise had promised there was some sort of wayfarer's inn nearby. I turned toward where Rise trailed behind me, spotting his massive wings first. More had set off before I'd even been awake, and Cassian had been pissy and on edge during breakfast. So much so that I'd been glad to leave as soon as I finished my porridge, and felt slightly bad for the Illyrians who had to deal with him that day. Rise paused once he caught up, and even with the trees and rain between us, I could see his brows lift in silent question of why I'd paused. We hadn't spoken of Starfall, or the Court of Nightmares, in last night. As I twisted and turned in the tiny bed, I'd decided, fun and distraction. It didn't need to be complicated. Keeping things purely physical, well, it didn't feel like as much of a betrayal. I lifted a hand, signaling Rise to stay where he was. After yesterday, I didn't want him too close, lest I burn him, or worse. He sketched a dramatic bow, and I rolled my eyes as I stalked to the stream ahead, contemplating where I might indeed try to play with Baron's fire. My fire. Every step away, I could feel Ryza's stare devouring me. Or maybe that was through the bond, brushing against my mental shields, flashes of hunger so insatiable that it was an effort to focus on the task ahead and not on the feeling of what his hands had been like, stroking my thighs, pushing me against him. I could have sworn I felt a trickle of amusement on the other side of my mental shield, too. I hissed and made a vulgar gesture over my shoulder, even as I let my shield drop. Just a bit. That amusement turned into full delight, and then a lick of pleasure that went straight down my spine, lower. My face heated, and a twig cracked under my boot as loud as lightning. I gritted my teeth. The ground sloped toward a gray, gushing stream, fast enough that it had to be fed by the towering snow-blasted mountains in the distance. Good. This spot was good. An extra supply of water to drown any flames that might escape. Plenty of open space. The wind blew away from me, tugging my scent southward, deeper into the forest as I opened my mouth to tell Rias to stay back. With that wind and the roaring stream, it was no surprise that I didn't hear them until they had surrounded me. Byra! I whirled, arrow knocked, and aimed at the source of the voice. Four spring court sentinels stalked from the trees behind me like wraiths, armed to the teeth and wide-eyed. Two I knew, brawn and heart, and between them stood Lucian. And that, my friends, quick as it came, was the end of chapter 46. Why now? Why now? Why now? Oh my gosh, I'm, cr I'm yelling. I was going to say crying, but no, I'm yelling. Why? Oh my gosh, the Sentinels are coming. Lucian, don't do it, Lucian, don't do it. Please tell me that it's going to be like, oh my gosh, Tamlin's being stupid. You have to come back and kick his butt. Maybe, I don't know. We'll have to see. But y'all, it was a quick one, so maybe we can get, maybe we can get another chapter down reading today. Um, I don't know if it'll be released on the same day as this one gets released, but 
hopefully I get one read today. It'll probably be coming out next week from when I'm reading it right now, as you're hearing it next week. So, hello, future people. <laughs> Y'all make sure to stay beautiful, stay hydrated, and we'll see you in the next chapter.